Hello my amazing planner friends, it's Jess from My Magical Planner and today I have my November Simply Gilded package to open with you guys. I absolutely love this subscription box. It has been amazing. I've been getting it for about a year now and I do know that there will be some big changes coming to the subscription in the new year. So if you like the box in its current state, make sure that you sign up for the December box because that will be the last box that's going to be exactly like this. In the new year, she is going to be changing a lot of things. That information hasn't fully gotten out to us because I think she's still finalizing things. And so if you are really interested in this box, I would follow the Simply Gilded Box account on Instagram because that's where she tends to reveal a lot of changes and things going on with the box. Like this particular box had some production issues, so things were running behind. So she's very clear on her Instagram account about how things are going, if there's a delay and why there's a delay. Like with this particular box, I believe it was the stickers got held up and were over two weeks late getting to her and she couldn't send out the product until she had the product. But she's always very clear about those things. She's been telling us for months that a change is coming and she is very clear on why that is. Her costs have gone up almost double from what they were at the beginning of the year. So obviously because she is a business, she does need to make some changes. So anyhow, with all that being said, let's get into this box, which I love that my nails almost match it. <laughs> and I believe this is the very first and probably the last, <laughs> since she's doing some big changes, passport themed subscription box. So this is their 49th box, which is amazing. I think she, they've been doing it over three years or something. And their official anniversary is November, although this isn't considered the anniversary box, but she did put some special care into this particular one. So I love the fact that she always themes the box to go with the theme, like the outside of the box, the artwork, is always themed after what the box is. So this one is Iceland, which I've never been to, but I've always thought it looks absolutely amazing. The foil is just a silver foil, not hollow, which I also really like. And then here's the back. You just have these really amazing mountains and glaciers, and I love the colors, honestly, especially the blue tones. So if you're wondering about price, so as I said, that's gonna change in the new year, but currently the subscription is $30 a month. You can also just get either the washi or the stickers as a subscription, which the washi is $21, which is still an amazing deal because if you pick up the washi after the boxes come out as her, she breaks them down into extras. And if you pick that up, the washi alone is, I think it's $45, $45.50. I looked it up. <laughs> and the stickers, if you get the subscription of the stickers is $10 which will obviously be going up in price because I think the cost of the stickers has gone up considerably with the reformat and then all the other changes. So currently it's $10, but it's almost a $20 value. And when I was looking back at her site, just to confirm a couple things, I did notice that if you pick them up aftermarket, it's about $16. But if I went back a couple of months at the sticker kits, it said it was discounted from 21 something for the sticker kit. So I do wonder if that $21 mark is maybe where we're going for the cost of it in the new year. So, but that's complete speculation on my part. If you're interested in her box, I will have her linked down below. I am not affiliated with her. I just really like her products. I do occasionally message her with questions and she's always great about answering them. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and open this off screen since there is a mystery kit, or <laughs> there is a mystery item. So if you wanna see like the box, she usually does the sneak on her Instagram, but she never sneaks the mystery item. I will show it at the end, but I will give everybody lots of notice. I am hoping most people have their box. Mine took a little bit longer and then I got sick. So I haven't had a chance to get it up yet. Okay, so in here, let's see if I can find it real quick. There's a new card that tells us what everything is in the box, so there it is. I love that she does this card, because it's, sorry, <laughs> something on my desk, because it's kind of a checklist of everything that's in the box, so you can see if you're missing anything. If you ever are missing anything, contact her and she is happy to fix that for you because mistakes happen. I think I've heard of it happening once, but even if it's just the mystery item, you should have it in your box. And if you don't, contact her and she will fix it. She's an amazing person and just a very generous heart. So at the top we have Iceland, it says November 2021. And our first item is the foiled journaling card. So here's our foiled journaling card, which is that passport style. I absolutely love it. I love the passport postcards that she came out with this year. I think they're amazing. And I've been keeping all the ones that I have. I'm thinking next year, maybe I'll put them in my Hobonashi, but I haven't decided because it's not quite this wide. So I don't know, I'm gonna figure out a way to use them this next year because they're absolutely beautiful, but you can frame them or actually use them as postcards. I think that would hurt my soul, but you can. <laughs> so, okay, there's the journaling card. Then we have our designer washi tapes. So, let me try and show you how those come. Some of the items are packaged together, so I'm just taking them out over there. So they come like this in a little uh, Ziploc type bag. It does have a design on it and it usually matches the box itself. So this month we do have little stars on here for all the stars you see out there. I do love reusing these little bags. They work great for things like toiletries that you're taking with you on a trip or something like that and you just, maybe you don't want something that you're gonna have to reuse or things like that. So like toothbrushes, that kind of thing, fit great in here. Or pens, if you wanna have a pocket of pens because you're, I don't know, writing notes all the time and keep it in your purse. <laughs> I sometimes keep uh, sticky notes in there and I'll just have them all together because otherwise they go all over my desk. Okay, so let's look at the washi here. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rolls in the normal subscription. You can also add on the, these are five millimeter, um, it's like a five millimeter washi add-on and there's four of them in there. So I get that, this is about, I wanna say $6 currently. And when you do the washi only sub, you do get that included, which is a really amazing deal. So because I sometimes scare people when I'm opening my washi, uh, because me and my craft night have a good relationship, but sometimes it doesn't look so. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna turn off the uh, camera and go ahead and swatch these on. I love to swatch them on the back of the card that comes in the kit, because then it kind of tells me all the washi that go together and it's easy to store. You can punch a hole up here and get one of those big you know, rings and put them all together. So I'll be back in a second with all these swatched out for you. All right, let's take a closer look at these washies. Starting at the top here, we have our Days of the Week washi. So it is a nice silver script there on a black background with this nice bright pink heart. When I first saw these, I thought they would be amazing for Valentine's Day. And I still think that they're gonna work great for that because I know of so many spreads that are that you know, black, white, and pink for Valentine's Day, and I think those would be amazing. Below that we have our, oh, and 
The days of the week is a 10 millimeter washi. Below that we have our header washi, or you, it's perforated, but you don't have to use it in the perforation. So this is a new design. It is a North Star, and I think it's absolutely stunning, guys. And I love simple designs like this because you can use them both horizontally and vertically, and they look great. And sometimes I want a vertical washi to kind of, especially in that space between your sidebar and where your week begins. So those are amazing for that. The next washi is kind of the passport washi. So you have to really kind of take a minute and look at this and see the intricate details of like all the windows on the houses and all these trees in the background, the foiling of all of these little stars. You have like, the breaking off of the glacier over here. And it's quite a long scene. So it actually goes on a little bit past where this is. So I think it would fit the full side of a 799 planner and not repeat anything. So I absolutely adore that. This one below it is a sweater print. What did she call them? Um, Oh, and this is a 15 millimeter washi. Sorry, guys. Um, I think it was, hold on, I wrote it down. Fair Isles print. I guess they're really common in Iceland, and she went there on a trip. But when I looked at it, again, this is another one that made me think of, like, Valentine's Day spreads and that kind of thing. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This one does, like, the... I don't know if you guys have had any of the passport washies in the past, but they tend to not be quite as, I don't know, waxy as the traditional ones. So this is more papery. And I would say that this print here is even more of that papery feel. It was actually a little harder to get off the roll because of that. It's not like a bad washi in any measure of the word, but just be aware of that. And I think it's gonna be so cool. But you, if you look, you, you don't get the same kind of shimmer quality on that one, which is actually kind of nice. It's gonna be great for videos and that kind of thing. Below that, we do have the traditional bow washi, which Simply Gilded is known for. So these are like the sunrise type, the ombre. I think that's what they called it. <laughs> But what it makes me think of is like a really sophisticated rainbow. I mean, because you have the purple on the bottom going to that pink and then there's like a peachy color and then the blue on the top. So I'm not a traditional rainbow girl, but I love this. I think this might be the washi I used for like a Pride Month uh, spread or something of that nature. So really, really love that. And then below that, we have the Puffin washi. Now, hold on, let me see if I can get it to shimmer for you guys. So it's a glitter washi, which means it has an entirely different texture than the ones above it. Let's see, can we see it? Uh, maybe not. So it almost has this pebbly texture to it. We saw it, oh gosh, what was the, the free range box had a washi that was this way too. And it's absolutely stunning. It kind of has that in the snow shimmer, I think because I'm using studio lights, it might be hard to see. Cause you really need like directional light to get that full shimmer. Oh, there's a little bit of it. So it's absolutely stunning. Now it was a little hard to get started just because it's, I'm sure it's a different material, but once I got it started, it was totally fine. And it is rather sticky, but it is a thicker washi. It almost has a plasticky feel to it. So just be aware of that. I think it's a really cool washi, but it is different. So you might use it for different things. This is another one that I'm like, oh, if I use this one and this one and the days of the week up here, I think that would be really amazing for a Valentine spread. And then at the bottom, we have our five millimeter add-on. So we have our untraditional rainbow, which is what I'm calling it. It's probably my favorite rainbow ever. <laughs> and I love the fact that you get that in the 15, 10, and five, because sometimes you want that very cohesive spread or 
you want to use one size, say, at the bottom, and you want to use this for headers or something, and then you can use this to make frames and all kinds of things. It's really amazing. So we have that, and then we have another star washi, which is more of a traditional star with the points, which, again, is an amazing... Like, I love these universal patterns that are fine horizontally, but you can also turn them vertically and they're still, like, there's no change to the design. It still has the great impact that it's supposed to have. So after that, we have this. Let me pull this up so you guys can see a little bit better. So this is kind of that dusky sky. And while it looks black down here, it's more of a charcoal, to be honest. And so it doesn't quite, let me pull it off the reel a little bit. Where'd my end go? Right there. Okay. So if you were thinking of using these two right next to each other, I don't know that I would do that because I'll just rip some off there so you can see. Um, there is a different change in tone. This is more of a true black and this is like that brown black charcoal. So I absolutely love it. I think it's gonna go great, especially using it alongside something with pink in it and things like that, because I love the brown pink combination, but just know that there is a difference there in those two blacks. And then the final color is this kind of salmon pink with the hearts and is it maybe heart confetti, but you have little hearts in there and stars and all kinds of things. And in the one above it, I don't know if you see, there's like the five point stars and then you have the little X type stars as well, which is really cute as well. So that is all the washi that you get in a subscription, which is considerable. It's definitely a huge value. So if you think you're gonna love the washi that Simply Gullet puts out, this is a great way to start a collection or get some variety to your collection without a astronomical cost. Okay, so after we do the, the washi, the next one is the Deluxe Sticker Kit and Seals, which is her new formatted design. We zoom back out here, guys. Okay. So, and when you do order just the sticker kit, which, like I said, it was like $10, she does have a really beautiful envelope that is also themed like whatever the theme of the box is, that's cardboard to keep these safe. And it's it's really nice. And I've actually attached them to the back of my planner to hold things and things like that. It's a really nice reusable type of an item. Okay. So we'll do the seals first. So you have more of a brown actually in this one than black. This would be even more, like this is even more brown than, than the charcoal is. So I'm trying to, maybe a true brown. And then we have the blue one at the bottom with the two stars, which of course makes me think of Peter Pan and the second star to the right. And it's like windy blue. So <laughs> I'm kind of like, aw. And then we have this really light green. It's almost like a sea foam in there and then of course the kind of rainbow washi theme thing that we have going on now so there's your seals which work great you can use them i've seen uh, my friend karen from happily planning with karen has used them as tabs in her planner you can use them to seal envelopes of course i sometimes use them to decorate the outside of boxes if i'm mailing someone something I mean, there's so many uses you can have for them and it's just kind of amazing. They're just a different type of sticker. So next we have our heart-shaped date dots. Are they still date dots if they're hearts? I don't know. But it's in that nice variegation of color again. So it's super pretty. Her dates are amazing. I They're some of the highest quality date dots that I have and I absolutely adore them. I don't always want a heart but I can't beat her, her quality really in this type of sticker. So you get, of course, the whole month. And then you also get like the heart icon, the dollar sign, 
the uh, medical universal cross, you have another bow, a plane bow, credit cards, a mail envelope, a camera, a car, TV, trash, a spray bottle for cleaning, a laundry machine, a fork and knife for, you know, your meals, you have a dumbbell for workouts, and of course a book. So I've used these before on monthly spreads, and really this is most of the things you're going to need for your monthly spread, which is really nice. All right, now let's get into the full kit here. I'm gonna start with what I consider the front, which is this one. So you have nine full boxes here. So this is the one thing I'm gonna tell you guys about using her kits, because I use her kits on a really regular basis. So if I try to use all of the colors in one spread, I get a little overwhelmed. So. I don't know this for a fact, but this is my interpretation of things. I feel like she breaks it down so that you can make several spreads out of this sticker pack. Like you can do a full month. So like for this one, I might do the more bluish ones here with the puff ends and kind of keep mostly to that. And then I'm not sure I might add in this horse one here because it has the Icelandic pony that says wild there, which is really cute. These ones I would probably do in a separate spread. I'm not 100% positive about these two, but the other three I think would be very cute paired together and that they have a cohesive theme in and of themselves. So just keep that in mind. I, I'm not saying my style works for everyone, but if you start laying down the stickers and you feel overwhelmed by the amount of colors and everything, just keep that in mind. So you have those, then you have some headers down here at the bottom. I really love the sweater pattern one in the middle. They're just really simple with a nice silver bow. Then you have this page. Now this is what I was saying about it it can last you the whole month. So you actually have four sets of Monday through Sunday headers. So you, this month, these are all pretty much on the same like ombre. And then you have these really cute kind of sea foam or sage. Well, not sage, sage is too dark. More sea foam <laughs> uh, or sea salt. It's like my bathroom. <laughs> I was trying to remember the paint color. So it's super cute. You have these actually little gold stars in the background with the silver foil. So it would be a great for using for a mixed foil spread, I think. And that's really amazing. And then of course you have your appointments and like all of your specific headers, which goes back like, I think those would be amazing together. And then I think these would go more with the these. That's my initial thought. I could change my mind. Just because I don't know that I would want that much of the variegation. But it all, you know, it all comes together when you lay it down, right? So then we have um, four of these half boxes. Um, she has a gratitude box, which I love. Now, a lot of people wonder about writing on these because these are a very special type of paper. I I don't know if I know the name of the paper that she uses and it's not written on the back. But if you use like a micro perm or any other type of permanent uh, marker, they have to be permanent. So these work really well on the stickers. You can always test it on like the edges or something to see if it'll work on there. You'll notice right away if it's not going to work, it'll just kind of beat up and not dry. You can take that off if you go and get like a baby wipe and it's not like super wet, so you're not gonna damage the sticker, but you can just wipe it straight off and you won't even notice that you did anything there, which is kind of cool. So anyhow, there's page two. Then here's page three. You have all this cute little deco here. You have some fancy dividers here. These work great for sidebars. You have three sets of bows here, which also work really great for checklists, or if you want to mark a specific event and you wanna draw notice to it, that kind of thing in the more minimalist style. You have icons down here, and then you have the little flag icons here. 
The flag icons used to be larger. I actually like them in the smaller state because I always have so many things going on. And then you have two rows of page flags, which Irene said specifically that she thinks they work really well for layering, which I hadn't really thought of too much. I think I did a little bit of it in one of my spreads, but they do make really great for that. And I love the fact that these ones are more of your vertical and these ones could totally be horizontal and just kind of having that versatility. They do take up most of the width of a seven by nine planner, like one of the columns, but you could always like, it would be really easy to cut these down if you wanted it to take up less space. And then you have your checklist at the top. I think we have seven of the bows and five of the hearts. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight of the bow ones and six of the hearts. So definitely at least two weeks worth there. And I love the different colors and everything. I think I'm a little bit more partial to these ones. I don't actually check things off that much. I just go and actually look at them and it helps me organize my day. I use them for a top three or top five, depending on the size of the list for my day. Okay, our last page of the kit has a couple more of the checklist. These ones are only three and there's four of them. You have... I think these are one third boxes. So you have about nine of those. You have a couple more of the specific headers here. These are all individually cut. Like, let me grab my tweezers so I can show you. So these are all headers as well that you can use for separation during your weeks, which are really beautiful. I think, again, this is saying Valentine's Day to me and this is saying winter and this is more of like summerish for me but I I love that we also have more half boxes here at the bottom and it works great you can make some amazing spreads with the combination of these stickers and the washies it's it's totally awesome I usually do a a weekly spread using these every month but this month being Christmas, I don't know that I'm going to get to these unless I do them in my Hobonashi because I I bought so many Christmas kits and I kind of want to use them. So this might be, like, I think I might have two kits that I'm going to be using in January from Simply Gilded. I haven't completely planned that out, but I can link one of the previous Plan With Me's that I've done using her stickers above for you guys if you want to check it out. Okay, so after stickers, oops, where'd my car go? There it is. I want you to go up there too. There you go. Okay, so after stickers, we have the Cozy Knit Pouch, which she put a lot of thought into this, guys. So here it is. Take it out. So I know she went to several different manufacturers. Let me take it out first. Okay, there we go. So she went to several different manufacturers because she specifically wanted an actual knit and not like a printed on fabric. So it looks amazing. So, so pretty. It does have a couple of just stray strings, but they're not actually attached to anything. It's very, very soft. And as far as size goes, this is my iridescent ink ruler so it is over seven inches just barely so it's probably seven inches internally which is a really good size I mean most of your pens are going to fit in there washi will fit in there and you also have this really this is a hefty little charm here it's not a lightweight cheap thing which is really beautiful for your pull the zipper is really nice. I mean, I love that she always puts quality into her products. So, like, they're not cheaply made. I've never seen anything from her that is not made with love and care. So, I do really love this pattern. I want a sweater like this. I used to have one that was kind of like this, but not exactly. So, you have, like, a little bit of gray here at the top, and then you go to that blue-gray tone the white and then a darker blue and then the hearts and pink of course and then back to the gray. 
it's so, so pretty. So love my new pouch. Okay, after the pouch, we have a B6 stitched binding notebook. These are pretty common in her her boxes currently. From some from the way she said something, I'm speculating these might be going away in the coming year or be an additional charge. But I do really like them. I will say that if I had to pick one item to go for the box, this might be it because I love them, but I would rather <laughs> get rid of this one than something else in the box, if that makes sense. So these are extremely well made. Again, they are stitch bound here on the sides. They have a nice uh, thicker cardstock type cover. And then this one is dot grid. They do kind of vary from month to month. Some months they will be lined, some months dot grid. I think dot grid has become my favorite just because it's so versatile. But you can use these as your planner for the month. You can use them like I do. I stick them in my purse for notes. Um, you can do so many things with these. My, I have a couple that I've given to my daughter who loves to doodle and draw and she'll just fill up the whole thing in like a couple of weeks. So I don't know how many pages come in these, but it's definitely enough for a full month. So there's that. It's really beautiful. I do love the design. So, so pretty. It makes me think of when you're in the airplane and the sun is just coming up. And I don't know if you guys have experienced that, but it's so pretty. Okay, so bare stitched charm, which is, okay, hold on. <laughs> What is the name of the bear? Because last time I totally, like, I read something and it had the bear's name on it. And then I was like, I don't know the name of the bear. <laughs> Jasper? Is that right? I think it's Jasper. <laughs> but usually I'm kind of like, eh, on the charms. This one I actually really like. So it's a deep brown. It's, um, I think they said vegan leather, so it kind of feels like leather, but it's not. And then it has the stitched face on it. And I think what makes me love this one so much is actually combining it with the bag. I think the two of them together are absolutely adorable. And I love that you have this huge lobster clasp, so you can just easily put it on. And it just looks really cute. You could totally put this as a planner charm. You could put it on your purse or diaper bag or something of that nature. But I just, I really like the combination of the two. So there's that. Okay, and then, wait, did I mix? I, I went past the ink pen, sorry guys. <laughs> so all of her boxes to this point have come, I'm pretty sure, with one of her amazing pens. These are a gel ink pen, so they do not work on writing on the stickers, but they are a nice, heavy quality, like, um, gel ink pen. There's always, like, oh, this one actually, okay, hold on. So, normally her pens have the little bow on top, and this one instead has the North Star. That's really cute. I believe she said this is her first completely silver shiny um, pen that she's done. She did do one that had some matte to it earlier in the, in the year, but this is her first completely silver one. There is also a little North Star there at the bottom. And one of the things I love about her pens is how nicely the caps go on here at the back of the pen because it really, it makes the pen feel complete like you can you can use it obviously without that but there's just something to the balance of the pen when you have the cap on the back and it fits snugly it's not going to fall off and they write really well and it just has a very satisfying feel to it it's like when you go <laughs> someplace and you have to sign forms and they have that really fancy pen yeah this is what that is <laughs> okay um, after that, we have our acetate and vellum sheets, which are right here. Well, I think it's just vellum this month, though. I could be wrong. Let me look at them. <laughs> so, 
So, so here they are. Yeah, both of them are vellum, so no acetate this month. Which isn't, like, some months these are in there and some months they're not. And a lot of people struggle with what to do with these. So they're great for card making. They're already pre-folded for you. But I've been seeing a lot of people use them in bullet journals or in things like um, the Hobonashis and stuff like that. Like, you can use a portion of it. You will see any kind of adhesive on the underside, but if you attach it with some of the custom washies that are meant to match it, nobody will know the difference and it would look amazing, at least in my opinion. So I'm hoping to use these actually this next year in my Hobonashi because I've been really liking that kind of concept. So you have that whole sky thing going on here with those silver stars. That look so pretty. And then the other one is that sweater print with kind of those taupey browns and pinks. Very, very cute. Now we're on to our mystery item. So if you don't want to see what the mystery item is, please click off. You know, just pause me, whatever you need to do. I'm gonna give everybody a minute to be able to get to the remote or pause on their phone, whatever. And then I'll show you what the mystery item is this month. All right, so I feel like there was more to it than this, <laughs> but I didn't see anything else on my desk. So this is a, a bookmark. So you slip this over. Let me grab this. I like them a lot. She sent one in an earlier box this year, and I was like, this totally isn't gonna work. But it's it's actually really nice. So you just slip it on the corner of the book like that, and it's a non-destructive, easy way to hold your page, doesn't fall off. So that was on the cover. So let me show you on one of the actual pages. And, you know, I actually really love leather bookmarks because they do do this. They, like, stay where you put them. <laughs> like, I love the plastic ones' designs, but honestly, a leather, or faux leather in this case, bookmark has a certain grip to it, so it can, it can stay where you put it. Where the plastic ones are smooth and they will just slide. So, that is our mystery item. I really love that it's silver because silver is one of my very favorite colors. And, all right, that's everything from this box. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. For more planning videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button over there. Until next time, I'll see you guys real soon. Ooh.